Hey, it's Nelson. Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Let's talk about uh, sights, specifically the fold-down sights that you can put on your tactical rails, uh, front and rear. Uh, I went ahead and purchased the uh, the Fab Defense. Uh, these are folding backup sights, front and rear, and they give you a little Allen key, a little Allen wrench to do so. Uh, looking looking at the looking at this, I. I, I've seen the sites, the pictures, I've, you know, I've watched videos and you know, caught reviews. This box, this little case, this is not case, but the packaging, it is, so, it is so cheap. It's such cheap packaging. This is like something you would expect to see like from like a $20 item. I mean, it's so, it's so like, it's nothing uh, much. In fact, that reminds me of uh, the Sig Sauer uh, Romeo 5 box that I got. Uh, for my red dot site right here. Uh, again, you know, I, I've seen unboxings where a nice black shiny box, you know, matte finish and, you know, real fancy. But here it's just the cardboard box. It's just like, you know, when you spend over $100 for something, you know, you, you think you get more of a premium packaging. But you know what? This is about the product and, and how well it does and how well it performs and what, how it looks and how you feel and and I paid about uh, 90 bucks for this. Uh, these are the non-tritium or, or uh, yeah, these are the, the, the blank ones. They have uh, some tritium ones with tritium dots that glow a little bit. Uh, those, I think, were about 130-ish. Uh, this was about 90 bucks. Again, you know, packaging, it is what it is. Anyway, let's get into it. Looks like it's gonna fall right in there. Here we go. All right, we'll put that right right here. Let's look at the. Feels like a booklet. Yep. So it looks like we have some Q codes. You can scan for other various products. And you have the back of it, which talks about some of the features. Okay, so. Let's take out, this looks like the front sight. Yes, very attractive. This reminds me of, this reminds me of like Batman's like car, like a little roller, rock roller. This reminds me of very, very sleek, very, I, I love the design. It's a lot of lines, angles. Let's check out the back piece. Okay, here's the back. Now these do not have a have a push button like like the Magpul. Um, Magpuls, from what I understand, and a lot of other sites they're they're a bit longer, maybe not not by much, but like maybe that much more on both you know both of them. So these are probably one of the shortest ones you could find out there, which is good because if when you're working with a <clears throat> an AR pistol type, you don't have much real estate on the top, so you want to keep everything on top to a minimum. So we're going to go ahead and put these on. And these go on re relatively easy. I could tell there's, there's some metal in here and there's some some polymer, but there's definitely some metal. I could feel it's it feels heavy and durable, but it gives you an Allen wrench key. So you would take it, unloosen it, and it would take this, it looks like this piece comes off. That way, this whole, this whole space uh, piece right here fits in between the rails all right so let's go ahead and put that on right now all right so we've installed our flip up sights and let's get a closer look look get a closer look at that All right, so if you can tell, there's a little bit of these these long horizontal lat, uh, lines that makes it for gripping. So when you put it up, it goes up just like that. Same thing in the front. These lines, it's very strong. It's on there really good, very solid. So 
to get an idea of that site. And again, you have your, you can adjust it right here. The little wheel to turn. And for the back, you have it on the left side, right up, right up here to adjust. That's what it looks like when the sights are up. Really nice, love them. I'm putting them back down again. Like I said, these don't take up much real estate at all. Ninety bucks. Uh, of course, you can get the the ones lit up with the little dots that'll glow at night or in dark conditions for about thirty, forty bucks more. I absolutely love these. I love the shape of them too. You know, they're not boring. They're the the lines are. Oh, fantastic it looks definitely looks unique I would say definitely pick yourself up a pair of these I mean you can find cheaper ones for you know 30 40 bucks but I mean these are really cool they're solid they're strong you know and you can see how quiet that was of course when it down wasn't very quiet but I could I could put it up with push buttons you know they, they give a, a flip and click very loud. If you're trying to put something up quietly, you can manually do it like that, really quiet. Okay. And put it back down. Or you can just flip it up, make a noise. Or you can bring it back down quietly by yourself. That's something you can't do with a lot of those other ones with the push button. When you push it, boom, makes a noise. And then all of a sudden, you, you may be giving away your position. So definitely something to think about uh, for flip-up sites. Again, my name is Nelson. I have more videos uh, on accessories uh, on the build. So go ahead and if you like the video, like the video. But follow, subscribe, and it'll let you know when more videos come out. It'll notify you. And you can check it out. Thank you. Bye.